Greetings, family. Rahubat Muisar. Renani Kawun Mantu Hinket Hinu. I am he who gives praises and offerings. Anuki Mudras Un Mumad M. Pa Nabab Mumad Baba Yanu. I am a student teacher of the Master Teacher Baba Yanu. Today's course of thought will be a nation of our own which ties into the birth of a new nation. We'll start out with the reading from the Master Secret, a nation of our own. My beloved Taquam nation of Yamasi, Sabian, of Wusabat, who planned Miss Batia of our own, the once enslaved living in the Sawar image of his slave master's religion and ways of living. You are now Kafush, free, by way of your own teachings. Hazab, culture, Lahaj, language, Wusabat, Asabians. Sabaeans. Now the first major problem is to cut loose the two slave masters, Arabu, Arabs, Yarapu, Europeans, religions, religious books, Quran, Quran, Bible, Old and New Testaments. Once the Kamam Salau black race of people put down the religion of the slave masters and their fictitious deities, Allah, Rab, God, Yahweh, once the black race, Khamam Salal, black race of people, reject the physical Sawarat images of the slave masters as leaders, Muhammad, Jesus, once the Khamam Salal, black race, wherever, returns all others, Hazabat, cultures, laws, governments. Once the Kamam Salah, black race of people, no longer take part in others' judicial systems, political systems. Once the Kamam Salah, black race of people, stop accepting others' educational systems, historical legends, once the command black race of people realizes who they are, not what others taught them to think they are, all their problems will be solved. We want to pause right there. That's something to think about. And that's not a, a, pill, a pill everyone can swallow so easily. That's a hard pill to swallow right there. You take away Jesus, you're taking away somebody's salvation. But make no. So the birth of a nation ties into a nation of our own. March 6, 1957 AD the Gold Coast gained its independence from Great Britain and was one of the first African countries to decolonize from colonial rule of Great Britain. The United States of America was smaller than Ghana when it gained its independence. And by 1966 they had a coup d'etat to overthrow Prime Minister Kwame Nkrumah who was elected to Prime Minister in office while in prison which is the same thing that we were going to do for our beloved master teacher have a electronic vote to vote our 
beloved master teacher out of, out of, out of prison as he's wrongfully in the worst prison in the United States of America, Florence Max, up in the mountain tomb to try to hide him away from generations to come, knowing that he is the man of the hour, knowing that that is God on the planet Earth. This is who the Honorable Elijah Muhammad spoke about to come. Said he will come with the 76 trillion years of information. Many of his teachers that he was teaching was in class that day. And he said, you are not that man. For that man is not in here. But when that man is to come, you are to follow that man. And that man is walking with us today. And he is known as Reverend Dr. Malachi Ziyork. Who was born in Ghana, Tokarati. Sekondi, the Twin City. So it's time to journey back home as the year of return closes out and 2020 is ushered in. Everyone should be clairvoyant with clear vision as this approaches symbolically. Ten minutes will be left from 2020 to 2030. From 1970 to 2030 is 60 years as Baba Yanun was given 60 years to raise up the very few that is called, that is chosen. So our master is 74 years old as of date, still suffering with angioedema and other ailments since May 2nd, 2002. They destroyed our land in 2003. We was down on land in 1995, camping out in a tent. My Mudad drove us down there to Georgia. And that was the first time I met Baba was nine years old by way of my father. And my life changed forever. So we all got work to do. It's time to stop talking with no action to back it up. We have to walk the walk when we talk the talk. Half of us talking about Africa has no intention on going to Africa. When that should be one of the number one top priorities in your life as an African. Ghana should be the pilgrimage for all Africans throughout the diaspora because this was the first African country to decolonize from Great Britain and this is where our ancestors left from before they journeyed across the treacherous middle passage to come into the Americas to be forced into slavery. And we always fought back and retaliated and revolted. We never took that. We never settled for that. This was not something that we just up and took. There were plenty of slave revolts, as they called them. We were kings and queens, chiefs and queen mothers. This is the United Sabian Nation. Worldwide, we are all over. The reigning monarch, Queen Sheba Sayara III, ascended the throne in 2000, born in Trinidad, over the Imperial African Federation. This is all us. This is the Sabian nation. We need to rub elbows with the people that are in positions of authority that can be able to help our situation and make it known to all 54 of the African countries. Not just Liberia, not just Ghana. This is a son of Africa. He is the master teacher world over for Africans. He was sent to admonish us world over. To prepare us and get ready for what's about to come and take place. This is Babylon. And it's time to come out of her. It's fallen, it's fallen. Come out of her. Revelations 18.4. Come out of her. So we don't partake of the sins and the plagues of her. It's time to journey back home. Genesis 15, 13. 
It's time to come out of this strange land. The 400 year marker is here. The expiration on America is coming, is here. This country has an expiration date. We already experienced the first solar eclipse in 2017, in August. The next solar eclipse will be 2024, April 8th. The first solar eclipse made a line from Oregon going out through the Carolinas. The second solar eclipse will form that line coming up and it will eclipse throughout the east coast and this will form an X which is the confederate flag an X over the United States of America an X like Malcolm's last name and this will let you know that this is another sign that Babylon is falling because with this eclipse will come other natural disasters this could set off volcanoes cause earthquakes tsunamis mudslides the time is now to get out it's time for us to get out. Even Jordan Peele gave you the cinema for it. Gave you the motion picture for it. Get out. Us. U.S. Get out the U.S. As the powers that be take their position. You know what time it is. It's time to wake up. All the children. No more sleeping in bed. It's time to come home. This is the year of return. This is our time to return. Ghana wants us to come and build up. They want bookstores in Accra. The capital. We can build up. Egypt of West Africa. You understand? Overstand? This is the time that we are in. There's no more time for buying properties in the United States. Not right now, it ain't. This ain't the time. This is the year of preparation, the year of return. This is the time that you go over, make your pilgrimage to Ghana. This was the whole dream of Martin Luther King, the promised land. When he spoke about the promised land, he was talking about the Gold Coast. He was talking about Ghana, where the soil is enriched with gold mineral. That's what the flag is red, yellow, and green. The red is the blood, the people, the genetics, the genes, the hemoglobin. The yellow is the mineral, the gold mineral in the earth. The green is for the vegetation, the nourishment. And the black star is for all of us in the diaspora, us Africans. We are the stars to return back home. This is the this is the completion of the Marcus Garvey mission, the great exodus. This is the dream of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. This is the real reason that Martin Luther King and Malcolm X was really assassinated because of their involvement in Pan-Africanism. As they both met with Dr. President, Prime Minister Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana and discussed many things. Malcolm was in the works of trying to sue the United States of America for all its racial injustice and slavery through the highest courts of the International Courts of Justice. Martin Luther King was working on us going back to Africa as a whole to continue the Marcus Garvey mission. This is what the whole foundation in Liberia and Ghana was all about that Dr. Malakazi York orchestrated and organized. The Dr. Malakazi York Foundation in Ghana and Liberia. 
We opened up schools and churches over there. They see us over there with the crowns. We still pulling at the coats. Pulling a jacket. We still are in this freedom fight to liberate and free our beloved master teacher who is innocent, who is the man of the hour. And y'all better stop acting like the hour is up. The hour is not up. We got 10 minutes left. From 2020 to 2030. 10 minutes left. Yeah. Time to go back. 